The Sword in the Stone by T. H. White is a remarkable reimagining of the Arthurian legend, focusing on the formative years of King Arthur, who is referred to as Wart throughout the novel. White's narrative blends elements of fantasy, historical fiction, and didactic allegory, creating a multifaceted work that appeals to both young readers and adults. The novel is the first part of White's larger work, The Once and Future King, and it sets the stage for Arthur's eventual rise to kingship and the establishment of Camelot. The story follows Wart's adventures and education under the tutelage of the eccentric wizard Merlin. White presents Merlin as a whimsical, wise, and often comically bewildered figure who lives backwards in time, providing a unique perspective on events and knowledge. Merlin's teachings are unconventional, involving transformations into various animals to impart life lessons and virtues to Wart. Through these magical experiences, Wart learns about the nature of power, justice, and leadership, gaining insights that will later influence his rule as King Arthur. White's use of animal transformations is a central device in the novel, serving both as a pedagogical tool and a means of exploring different facets of human nature and society. Each transformation episode teaches Wart a specific lesson. For example, as a fish, he learns about the perils of absolute power from a tyrannical pike, as a hawk, he experiences the rigid hierarchy and discipline of the military. These adventures are not only entertaining but also rich in symbolic meaning, highlighting the complexities of governance and the responsibilities that come with power. The novel's tone is characterized by a blend of humor and poignancy. White's writing is witty and playful, filled with anachronisms and clever wordplay that lend a timeless quality to the story. However, beneath the surface, there is a profound sense of melancholy and a recognition of the darker aspects of human nature. White subtly critiques the romanticized notions of chivalry and nobility, suggesting that true greatness lies in humility, empathy, and wisdom rather than in martial prowess or noble birth. Characters in The Sword in the Stone are vividly drawn and memorable. Ward is depicted as a curious, kind-hearted, and humble boy who gradually matures through his experiences. Merlin, with his peculiar habits and vast knowledge, serves as both a mentor and a father figure to Wart. Other characters, such as Sir Ector and Sir Kay, add depth to the story, each representing different aspects of the medieval social order. Sir Ector, Wart's foster father, is a just and honorable man, while Sir Kay, Wart's foster brother, is proud and often arrogant, providing a contrast to Wart's modesty. One of the novel's strengths is its ability to weave together myth and reality, creating a world that is at once fantastical and grounded in historical context. White incorporates elements of medieval life, culture, and folklore, enriching the narrative with authentic details and enriching the reader's immersion in Wart's world. The setting of the castle and the surrounding forests is vividly described, evoking a sense of wonder and nostalgia for a bygone era. At its core, The Sword in the Stone is a story about the making of a king, emphasizing the importance of education, morality, and self-discovery. Wart's journey is not just about acquiring knowledge and skills, but about understanding the deeper values that will guide him as a ruler. White's portrayal of